future began back in 1850, when a man named Levi, last name of Strauss, arrived in the booming city of San Francisco. It was the time of the gold rush. But for Levi Strauss, riches came not from the gold in the fields, but from a bold of heavy canvas he carried under one arm. Canvas that would lead to a prosperity to rival the riches of the mother load. Levi's original intentions were to use the canvas for tents and wagon covers. But the miners had an even more basic need. A durable pair of pants. Pants don't wear worth a hoot up in the diggings, a miner told him. Can't get a pair strong enough to last. And from these statements came the idea for the first pair of Levi's pants. They were made from Levi's own canvas. The pants withstood the rigors of the minefields and the miners who wore them became a walking advertisement, never missing a chance to tell about those pants of Levi's. Naturally, the sale of dozens more followed. When the canvas ran out, it was replaced with a sturdy fabric dyed blue and known as denim. Shop was set up in San Francisco. The idea of riveting pockets came shortly afterward. Levi Strauss became the father of the blue jean, and his pants became the uniform of the West. It was several years later that another man, name of George Warren Brown, started his own business at the gateway to the West. The year was 1878, and the city was St. Louis, Missouri. Along with two partners, a few thousand dollars capital, and five skilled workmen recruited from New York, George Warren Brown set up the first successful shoe manufacturer in St. Louis. Known originally as the Brian Brown Shoe Company, and later as the Brown Denoyer Shoe Company, the name, after the partner's retirement, was changed to Brown Shoe Company. Following these rather modest beginnings, new methods of production were put into use. Old methods of distribution and transportation gave way to new, and the companies grew to become what they are today. Brown Shoe Company, adhering to strict quality standards and keeping pace with fashion trends, became the country's leading manufacturer and marketer of branded footwear. Levi Strauss and Company, building on its reputation for durability, became the largest pants maker in the world. Brown Shoe Company developed brands which grew out of America's heritage. And with its manufacturing base, broadened its scope of branded footwear, produced shoes which met the consumer's need for fit, comfort and durability. Meanwhile, Levi Strauss and Company followed up on the success of its jeans and brought out new lines of clothing for men, women and children. It was only a matter of course before the company also considered moving into another major area of apparel, that of footwear. Brown Shoe Company, because of its position of leadership in the shoe industry, was the obvious choice to develop, market and distribute a new line of Levi's branded shoes. It was then that the two companies, both leaders in their respective fields, began working together to introduce Levi's for feet. It became apparent from the beginning that much of the strength of Levi's for feet would stem from the name. Moving from the functional uniform of the West, the message of Levi's jeans traveled the globe. They came to reflect a desire for a natural, uncomplicated lifestyle. With their unisex appeal, they became the staple dress code of young people throughout the country. The mystique that surrounded the Levi's name had created an obsession for the product unrivaled in the clothing business. What is it that brings about this total devotion among consumers? Perhaps it is inherent in the product itself. In a time when the only certainty is change, Levi's jeans remain basically the same as they were over a century ago. Then as now, the low hip form-fitting styles sold under the name Levi's were trusted for durability, comfort, and value. At the outset, Levi's Strauss and Company and Brown Shoe Company knew this image had to be retained. Early research among 14 to 24 year old men unanimously confirmed the feeling that the Levi's name and image would transfer to footwear. The idea for Levi's for feet was wholly accepted, even expected by these consumers. They saw the product as a group of comfortable, durable shoes to wear with jeans. 
It was to this image and for this market that Levi's for feet were developed. Because both Levi Strauss and Company and Brown Shoe Company have a stake in maintaining reputations for quality, product development became a joint effort. Only quality tested upper leathers, the newest technology, heavy duty constructions, and durable wear tested soling materials were used in making the shoes. Then, in a move quite uncommon in the shoe industry, the styles were pre tested in consumer focus groups and then tested at the retail level. Stores were selected in major cities to represent a cross-section of retail operations, including shoe departments and jean shops in department stores, pants stores and shoe stores. Sales exceeded all expectations. The end result has been the development of a tight package of market-tested, authentic jean shoes. It's a package of shoes geared to youth and youth-oriented consumers, whatever their age. It's a market that lives the Levi's lifestyle, and one we'll reach with a strong multimedia advertising campaign. At the time of the initial planning on Levi's for feet, Brown Shoe Company was developing another concept considered a breakthrough in shoe retailing methods. Termed outpost marketing, this method of self-selection was readily accepted by consumers in test markets. The concept applies the hang rod principle of apparel to shoes. Using self-selector outpost fixtures, an entire inventory can be displayed on the selling floor. Every size and every style can be put in front of the consumer. The system reduces selling costs, increases turnover, generates exceptional volume per square foot, and yields an unusually high return on investment. Tailored to Levi's for feet, the self-selector permits department stores to market the shoes with related jean apparel. The concept puts pants stores in the shoe business. Using Brown Shoe Company's suggested automatic replenishment system, the self-selector is easy to maintain and requires little or no training in traditional shoe selling methods. Through computer reorder cards, the system allows for fast, accurate stock replenishment with a minimum of time and effort. Backed by the Levi's name and reputation, Brown Shoe Company's product standards, the pre-tested styles and merchandising system, and a powerful advertising campaign, Levi's for Feet is the new idea in jean shoes, and it's ready for you now. Oh. 